sneakerheads and basketball enthusiasts alike. like this is the only land and we are back and obviously I'm here to talk about these um, before I get into that do me a favor hit the like button and subscribe and if you like what you've seen before or you like what you see today um, before I get into these uh, if I cut this video a bunch it's because I have a cold or something like that so I'm gonna be sniffling and wiping my nose a lot so that could be a thing and then also, let's get into what I have on feet today, um, which is these. Um, these are the LeBron, what number is this? X5-17? These are the LeBron 17s, I think. Um, these are the two, this is the 2K version. Um, you had to do like, uh, if you guys remember, uh, I'll put the video up here, by the way, because I'm pretty sure I made a video on these. Uh, you had to do like some type of get some type of stats and then you did it on sneakers it was I didn't even do the stats my friend did it for me but I explained all that in the video dope pair of sneakers very comfortable one of the best one of the best LeBrons that I played in personally my personal opinion but hey um, that's what I'm wearing today super comfortable um, and then let's get into these these are the Puma MB 0.2s which is LaMelo Ball's signature sneaker Um, obviously I played in the first ones, I will also put that video up here somewhere. Um, I played in the first ones, was a big fan of the first ones. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, those were one of my top sneakers for 2021. Um, huge fan, really like them. Uh, have a pair right here so we can look at them, compare. But, uh, as you guys can already see, I pulled them out the backpack because I did have them and I was playing basketball in them. Um, I don't know when I'll have a performance review out because I am not in the in the healthiest conditions right now. But let's see about that. Um, and let's uh, let's touch on the box first. Uh, you know I like to I like to go through the boxes. Um, the front is kind of basic. Just has the regular tag. Says Fiery Coral Ultra Orange, 11 and a half. That's my size. Uh, you have the Mellow logo, uh, the one top left with the halo. Uh, and the Puma logo on the right, and then uh, let's see if there's anything else. Not from here on the left, not from here on the right, and on the top, which is the main feature here, you have the not from here, which is the slogan or his slogan Puma, Mellow, and then the o Mellow 0.2s. And you have, I believe they said these were wings. This is wings, uh, which is, it's kind of similar to the uh, to the first one, which has the window type of thing, much a much bigger window. Obviously, it's a it's you can't really see through. You can see a little bit here, but it's very similar. I do like I do like the the first box a lot. The galaxy print on the first box is just amazing, and just because those are the galaxies doesn't mean that they don't all. I believe they all came in that because I have another version, and they came in the galaxy one as well. So nice box, nothing nothing too crazy. So let's get into these. Um, for traction here, you have a uh, you have. I guess it looks like feathers. It's like some type of combination. It's like a storytelling herringbone, if you want to ask me. To me, that's what it looks like. I believe they said what it was in the press release, actually. Let me get exactly what they said it is. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. It says, uh, full coverage engineered non-slip rubber compound with a feather tread pattern for enhanced durability and traction. Um, hey, that's, that's their verbiage for it. It looks like some form of herringbone to me. Herringbone is always great. Uh, no matter whether you like switch it up a little bit to add storytelling in it, herringbone is really great. Uh, you do have rare in here and this translucent uh, in outsole, should I say? It is a little difficult to see, but it is the outsole, so no one's really worrying about that. And then Puma in the back there. So moving on up to cushioning in the midsole, you have a compression molded foam, um, and then that is inside of that molded foam. In the uh, forefoot and the heel, you have pucks, square pucks um, of nitrogen infused foam, I believe it is. Uh, I don't know how that helps you out. I'm not a sneaker scientist. Um, I will say that wasn't inside of the press release. Um, I got that straight from from Testers, from Nightwing over at 
weight testers. That's another video I'll put up top here because he does a great job of explaining it. They actually brought him uh, to Puma headquarters and he went over the whole shoe. It's like he has pieces of the shoe taken apart and you can see what the pub looks like and all that. Very cool. Um, I love what he does over there. He's, I guess, one of my inspirations along with a few other people on YouTube here. But um, yeah, that's what you have in the cushioning. Um, I want to give you guys an opinion on this so bad because uh, I have played in it. Um, what Nightwing did say was that it would be a little heavier as a... a I think compre he said compression is a little heavier than... I forgot what the other version he said was of the foam, of EVA foam. Uh, and I will just say I agree. I agree on that. Um, I don't know what you have to the insole here. Uh, it doesn't feel like... Actually... I said it doesn't feel like much. It's, if you saw the last thing, ooh, I didn't put up the last sneakers. But I have a video coming with a pair of sneakers that have an insole and it was much thinner than this. And these look a little bit more comfortable than what I had there. Um, yeah, so, not bad. I don't ever think that insoles do like this amazing job anyways. Um, people, for the, a lot of people I know just change out their insoles. Um, I feel like companies never put a ton of work into their insoles anyways so insoles are just very insignificant for me um, I like the designs on the insole it's like the biggest thing for me like how do they look um, and you just have uh, you just have the regular one uh, with the halo logo um, and then the Puma basketball um, and I think that one with the halo logo is Melo's logo now that I keep mentioning it so you have the Melo logo and then the Puma basketball written out there on the insole um, as far as the upper you have a uh, mesh a very tight, tightly uh, constructed mesh, and then you have like these uh, little t TPU layers. Um, obviously, the one in the front here, uh, all sneakers have it. I've gone over that. All sneakers have it to protect the toe box, and then the design as well. So I think this is TPU, and then this is, um, I guess, synthetic overlay. I believe is what you call that. Um, and th those, those are all right. And that. The point of the design for that, I believe, is flames. I think that's part of another tattoo. Um, a lot of the design features are part of Lamello's tattoos. Uh, let me just look that up real quick. Okay, yeah. So that's the uh, that's the tattoo that he has on his chest. Uh, the wings there, um, and it's actually almost exactly like his logo. So you have the the wings and the one on. No, it is his logo is on his chest. So his chest tattoo is his logo. Um, I think the, this is better than the tattoo, to be honest. I think the logo is better than the tattoo. Uh, the image that I have here anyways, I don't know if he's upgraded the tattoo. It doesn't look like it from what I can see. Uh, but, hey, that's that's the design feature there. That's what you see there. I will show an image of his tattoo. I know the MB.1s, um, this was like the flames, right? So like the, the stuff coming down here, if you can see it was like the flames from his rocket tattoo on his leg, I believe. Um, it's not showing it, there it goes, yeah, yeah. So it says sky's the limit and there's a rocket on there. And that was for the flame, and the flames were for that on the MB.0.1s. Uh, uh, but I guess that's what it is. Like he just likes to include his tattoos, his tattoos I guess mean a lot to him. He likes to include those in the design features. Um, and from what the, uh, uh, the press release said, he is part of like that process, right? He, he is like, he's not like, he is Puma's main basketball person right now. Um, and that means he gets a lot of say in what, I assume that means he gets a lot of say in what goes on uh, with the designing of his own sneaker. Um, I want to do like a little comparison. Is this the right? No, nope, it's not the right foot. I always, always like to do a little comparisons of the first and the second one. Uh, if you're talking about size wise, size looks the same. So I'm going to assume sizing is around the same. If you just want to grab them now. Um, not that these are like super new because I did wait before I picked them up. So they've been out for a little bit. Um, I would say around the same ankle height. So like they're mids to me. To me, these are mids. I wouldn't, I don't know if I would consider this a high. Also, I could be completely wrong, and these could be a high, right? Um, material feels, material feels ab about the same. I think the mesh on the, uh, on the newest ones, the 0.2s, or the 0.2s, I keep saying that, like, the Russia sneakers, on the 0.02s, 
are a little tighter than the um, point zero ones, but that's just my opinion. Um, we'll see once the performance review comes out. Um, but I think that is it. Is there anything? I keep picking them up and putting them down, but there's not like a super like this amazing amount of details on here that uh, could be hit, right? You got the the metal logo on the tongue. If I didn't say that, metal down the, down the uh, down the ankle there with the Puma logo at the top, and then Mellow's logo again. A lot, a lot of Mellow logos on this, I realize. And then, oh, I think this is a signature on the toe here. I'll show that as well. And then the one right by the beginning of where the laces start or where the tongue starts. Um, and that's it, man. That's it. There's, there's nothing else on these sneakers. Uh, if you want to talk about colorway-wise, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I usually just grab the first colorway. I'm not a huge fan of this colorway. I'm not. Um, I do like colorways that grab attention, but this one is just like so loud and you're not going to, I feel like I can't match this with anything. Um, the colorway that recently came out, the slime colorway, I think it's amazing. I think they did a great job with that. I would have liked to have grab, grab those. It's a sim very similar color to the outsole here. Um, big fan, uh, but I have these. I'm not mad at them, right? I'm going to wear them for my system anyways, and then if I like them, I'll wear them again, right? But that's it. Um, I have a lot coming. I keep saying that. I'm not putting it out, but I do have a lot coming. I'm probably going to film like three or four more videos uh, before the night is over, uh, and then they're going to come out sporadically. Uh, and then I do have that end of the year uh, performance review or end of the year top of the best sneakers of the year uh, uh, video coming. Uh, obviously, I didn't, perform, I didn't test that many because I kept getting injured, but that is what it is. And that is the end of the video. <laughs> Do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe button if you like what you've seen today or you like what you've seen before. This is the only way, and I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one.